All right, in today's video, we are going to look at premature attacks. A lot of times, beginners will go for these premature attacks that shouldn't work, that won't work if you know the right defenses to it. Not only will they not work, but you will put your opponent in a worse position after you defend the correct way. The most common attack I see is the scholar's mate. And we have something like this. There's an attack on f7, and after the knight comes out, White simply checkmates black. Okay, so the next thing I see is after the queen comes to h5, black doesn't want to get checkmated. So, okay, then they, they'll play g6, but this is bad too because it drops the pawn with check and this open diagonal now after playing g6 loses a rook. Okay, so the next thing I see is knight f6, which isn't good either because it drops the pawn with check and after black blocks, white's simply up a pawn. So what do we do here? Okay, it's very simple. After queen h5, we simply develop and defend the pawn. Now after bishop c4, now we play g6. And now white can't take the pawn because the knight defends. So white will come back here, threaten checkmate again, Again, we simply develop and defend. We're blocking the checkmate. The queen is blocking the knight. And after white develops, we simply castle and we have a lead in development and a better position. Okay. Another thing is, after this, let's say the queen doesn't come back to f3 and comes back to h3. Well, now we have a tactic. So pause your video and see if you can spot the tactic. Okay. <clears throat> Black actually has a discovered attack here. So you have to notice when pieces are aimed at other pieces. Even if there's something in between them, like this pawn here, we still have to take notice of this. Well, notice that when we move the pawn, we're discovering an attack on the queen. In this position, the queen would move, and white is fine. So the correct move here is to move the pawn two spaces where we're attacking the queen and the bishop. White's going to have to protect his queen, and then we take the bishop, and we're up a piece. Okay, another common attack comes out of the four knights opening where white will play knight g5 attacking f7. And here we have to block, the only way to defend is to block this diagonal. So we have to play d5. After white takes, a lot of players will play this, taking with the knight, because it looks like it's defended by the bishop, by the queen. But here, white will take on f7. The stunning knight takes f7, forking the queen and the rook. And after the king takes, we have queen f3 check. And we come back here. We drop the knight. White is attacking mate. The king can't move. Well, the king can't castle, at least. And we're down a pawn. So black will have to come up here. But then after this move, black has a lot of pressure on here. The king's in the center. It's not a good position to be in. So back here, after we play d5 and white takes, we want to play knight a5. And then after the bishop moves away because it's attacked, we simply take the bishop, and then we can take the pawn with the knight and attack this knight. Another uh, way to defend that, if we don't want to memorize that whole variation, is after we play this and the bishop comes out, is we can simply just develop this bishop. And this is even easier to defend. The knight can't come down here anymore because there's no knight blocking the queen from just taking this knight. So the knight just can't come here, right? So if after we develop and then the knight comes down here attacking this again, now we have an even easier defense because the bishop's out. It's clear. We have a clear path to castle. So we castle and defend the pawn twice with the rook and the king. Now, a lot of players think that because the rook is worth five and the pawn is worth one, and the knight is worth three and the bishop's worth three, that it's an even trade. It's six for six. But actually, the, two, the bishop and the knight is not worth the, uh, the rook and the pawn, and black has a better position here. Uh, another another uh, interesting opening I see is after the Sicilian, and white plays this, black will play knight f6, which is fine. But sometimes white will get aggressive and push the pawn and kick the knight out. This is also a mistake because the pawn is not defended, the king hasn't castled, and there's open checks to the king. So we simply check on a5, and after white blocks, we take the pawn with check. Okay. And last but not least, 
out of the Carol Khan opening, we have this, knight c3, black takes, white takes, and sometimes black plays this, knight d7, which is fine. But now white has a sneaky trick. White will play bishop c4, black plays knight f6, which is fine, and then after knight g5, we have this, again, this battery, this attack on f7, so we have to block. And now white has a sneaky move, queen e2. A lot of players here will play h6, kicking out the knight, thinking the knight will just retreat. But the knight doesn't retreat. The knight here actually plays knight takes f7 again, forking the queen and rook. And after we take, we have queen check, only move is king g6, then we have bishop check, and then we have checkmate. Okay, so what do we do? After queen e2, the best move is actually to play knight b6, attacking the bishop, but more importantly, defending the pawn with the bishop. This uncovers a defense on this pawn. And now if white comes in here, we simply take, and the queen cannot take because the bishop defends. Okay, these are just most the most common openings I see where uh, a player who has a little bit more chess savviness will take advantage of another beginner player and just overwhelm them with a great attack. Or well, not really a great attack, actually. They, they shouldn't work, as you can see, but an overwhelming attack. So if you memorize these openings and these lines and these defenses, you should have no problem not only not getting checkmated early on in the game, but actually turning the tables on your opponent and coming out with a better position. All right, that's it for this lesson. If you uh, liked it, please comment, like, and subscribe. All right, I'll see you later.